Hello people, and welcome back to Fremwood, our vanilla city skylines build. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Good afternoon guys, and welcome to the first video on what will hopefully be a long running series of a vanilla city skyline um, let's play. And welcome to our 30,000 subscriber special. Before we get started today, just a quick word to say a huge thank you for that milestone. When I started this awful city, <laughs> I never thought we would get any way near 30,000 subscribers. But we have for some reason, and I can only really say thank you for that. It really means the world to me, and here's to hopefully 40,000 uh, this year, if not next year. So today, we are going to rebuild the awful start <laughs> that we used here. There is so much wrong with this. Um, it's just hideous. Let's have a little review of what's going on. Um, there's a random six lane here for some reason. Um, there's traffic lights where there shouldn't be. No care and attention into what assets have been allowed to grow. Terrible. There's this, <laughs> which is which is not ideal. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's just, just a random path which um, is not symmetrical in any shape or form. I don't know what I was thinking with this. Um, there's this, which is, like, the other ones are fine. Some are highway lanes, some are two lanes, and this just bends out <laughs> for no reason. We randomly switched down to a one lane as well here. Um, there's traffic backing up, getting into the industrial area. And uh, it, it's just cheeks. It's just terrible. There's there's some elements of detailing, but it's still bad. <laughs> there's a... There's an office park here as well, so we can rebuild an office park, I'm sure. And then also just kind of the, um, the the starting suburb. There's lots of empty dead space. There's a cemetery here as well. Just awful. <laughs> just awful. So I guess we'll kind of rebuild um, everything that we can see here on the screen, right? This initial starting section, a little bit of suburbs, nice commercial high street, and some industrial as well. So let's get started, shall we? Okay guys, there's nothing quite like starting a new city in City Skylines, is there? <laughs> we, uh, we get to rebuild the first ever city we, we played on this channel. So I guess we'll start out with uh, hooking the highways together. Uh, let's come out by a distance of 40 tiles initially. Probably say about there will be okay. And then we'll trim off the length of road. Give ourselves a two lane highway. We'll come out by a sensible distance of 11 tiles. And then bring these guys down. You will have to excuse <laughs> the awful backdrops. There's been no control in the skylines that I've been allowed to develop in this city. My most sincere apologies. Okay, let's bring these guys up, of course, because we're going to be messing with roundabouts. We will lock this in place. So I think already the entrance into the city is <laughs> vastly improved <laughs> compared to what it was. Um, not to kind of denounce the Imperial Jedi start to the city or anything, but um, the way that I had handled the expansion around it was not appropriate. <laughs> and it had uh, quickly failed. So we get our lane mathematics going as well. We'll switch back into three lanes as we approach these highways. And uh, we're not going to cross over to that side of the river. Just pretend that that doesn't exist. Okay, so let's start to introduce some larger arterial roads into the area too. I think we'll take this one into the grass medium because it's nicer. Now we are kind of approaching layers of height here, um, which Friendwood Egg didn't really care for or acknowledge <laughs> in any kind of way. So um, we'll see what we can do. So there's a pretty steep mound here and I want this to be somewhat sensible. So let's start terraforming out kind of a more harsh, obvious line for us to work with. Okay, so I think just spending a little time sculpting the landscape into something a little more palatable is going to help us in the long run. So we could come from another roundabout here, which I think I think would be a sensible option, right? And I'm happy with this slope. Is this going to be something I'm pleased with? I think it probably is. Go ahead and grab our grass road again. Keep this flowing. No, <laughs> I am not happy with that. Let's, uh, let's soften the terrain out of touch. Have our slope tool on a smaller bush size. 
So I think what we'll start doing now is forming up the little surrounding or lower tier suburb uh, that did once sit here. So let's come out with a road about this length and let's see how much noise we're going to be producing from our highway. The read isn't too large but we can always do a few tricks including sound barrier roads and some other little details as well. These of course just to have that, that sound protection against the highway. Okay, let's start mapping out some very generic highway patterns here. Of course, ignore all the problems in the city. <laughs> There's going to be going to be quite a few today. And I was really happy with kind of the high school here as well. So let's come back onto our road guideline. And I think we'll switch up the high school asset. Let's maybe go for the uh, Institute of Creative Arts here. And having this overlooking the cliff face be a little more palatable. Uh, it's a nicer asset. Absolutely. <laughs> Very important asset as well, of course. Okay, so that's a mess about with some smaller suburban designs as well. You do have to give it to the people of Fremwood. They have <laughs> they are still waiting for this tram. Um and I've actually ascended above the power of physics. They are they are hardy people, to say the least, I think. Uh, fair play. Let's also have a little chat about the possible placement of some service assets to this area. Let's come off our road guideline. I do have a, a touch of awkward space here where the terrain is kind of changing up in its height. So let's maybe push it back a little more. And then we'll see what we can do with... Is that kind of box road in here? Okay, and maybe let's place in one of our police stations. Maybe let's go for the European one. I think it's a lot nicer, right? And possibly pair this with... Fire station too. It'll be a little nicer to look at from the main road, okay? It's gonna help decorate our main arterial through the entrance to the town as well. Also links our road through here as well, which takes us back into whatever is happening here with these redwoods. <laughs> this doesn't do well actually. This is okay. A little kind of star park. Kinda of looks like the Blair Witch logo. A bit of redwood action as well, some rocks. Not actually a bad way to use the redwoods. Quite a hard tree to use. Otherwise, I think we're looking a little more palatable right now, okay? And we also had trams running through the area as well, so maybe let's have a look at introducing uh, a tram building here. And then we'll begin to upgrade a few of these roads into tram roads. See what we can do with these. We'll take this into tram. I could upgrade the roundabout to tram as well, but I think what we'll do is just bring the tram track straight across the roundabout. Look we'll into our tree bush and take those away. And then let's have a think about what we want to happen here. So I think we'll bring the tram road out, maybe a, a touch more than that. Go for 350. And then we'll bring this out onto its own tram track. And then switch up back into regular road and we can continue our suburb. It's like I've forgotten to delete single light. <laughs> yeah, the remnants of the Fremwood detail are still hanging around. We're actually getting these guys really struggling to struggling to grow. Um not sure why. We do have a touch of a residential demand. Um, but we do have some commercial as well. So maybe let's start uh, complementing our areas here with a little bit of commercial as well. Again kind of a very similar concept to what we've done here these guys let's have a little look at we can also do that with this space here as well we'll start to introduce a couple of little four by three assets here and then we can possibly use just some regular nature reserve path just to help fill out these green areas it's gonna give us a slightly different color and texture some rocks and posts in there as well so I think we'll go with that to kind of help border up these little commercial areas and see how these help decorate our main road here. I did like the train lines in Fremwood. Well, some of them. <laughs> not all of them. Some of them were really bad. But let's not talk about those. Nice tram green belt. Although it doesn't really make sense to split it off from there just to bring it at that point. So let's reevaluate that decision. 
Let's grab ourselves some fruit here. Of course, after some more terraforming. Push this cliffside back just a touch. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen Friendwood, because I realise that was a relatively small channel when that series was going. Um, got some good cringe value. I'll leave the playlist link down in the description below if you want to go and check it out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll kind of leave it up to you because it's not the best. Um, how about a metro station in here? Because there is a metro line, or there was a metro line that was servicing this area. Um, so how about one of the new ones? Um, how about if we went for this? Would this look ridiculous? An asset that actually works really nicely with the Institute of Creative Arts. But I think we can maybe get in a larger, more important transport hub in here as well. Let's also have a look at some assets to expand around the Creative Arts to make something of a school park. And the gymnasium is always a great partnering asset. Let me place one in there. And then how about a couple? Maybe just one or two basketball courts as well. Place these next to each other. I think we'll switch up to a little bit of regular park path for this. Bring these guys in. And then start connecting people through in a couple of different places. And some great opportunities just to satisfy a little more of that commercial demand with some specifically zoned 4x3 commercial as well. Okay, so I will somehow get this line hooked up and we can hopefully see a couple of metro trains arriving in here as well. So we're starting to get some nice assets developing alongside this main street now. Let's make sure that we're going to historical these. We have had some residential begin to appear, uh, but we're not quite sinking through. Let's give them a very temporary power line. Okay, and then let's return onto our little tram idea here. So let's go for, for tram roads. And I guess we can bring it back through here. See the tram into a tiny little one-way loop. Let's also have a look at the discussion about what we're going to do with these roads here. Again, there's some really nice opportunities to come through with some tram track against road action with perhaps a touch of commercial if we dare. Fill these out, we've got that commercial demand to meet. And there's also a nice little option here of possibly linking through with pathways. Let's go ahead and trim up the 2x3. So the one-way system here is actually flowing the wrong direction because we are right-hand drive. So we'll have the trams one stop outside the high school. And then I guess over here we don't particularly care what this one looks like. Just go ahead and link it up to wherever it goes. Uh, maybe another one here as well. And then back down this side. I don't think I mind the green trams. Okay. I'm relatively happy with that. Of course, traffic lights in a roundabout is an absolute no-go. Let's go ahead and get rid of our traffic lights here. So the metro bridge is a little higher than I would like, but I think it helps add to the build. I'm just about going to bear with it. I think from these tram stops here, I'm going to run perhaps a touch of amusement park path. And maybe snap to our angle. We'll check the length here as well. We're out by 40. And then just mimic these on each stop. And of course, I guess because we're in Friendwood, we should probably use the Redwoods. At least a couple of them. <laughs> I think we have to, right? Stay loyal to the, the original palette. Okay, so our suburbs are growing here now. I think what we're going to do here is implement a little bit of a green cities district into kind of this portion of the map, probably over here as well. Get these guys down. Go ahead and throw them the organic, oh no, what's this one? Self-sufficient. The... You think I would know at this point in the city, right? <laughs> but apparently not. We're saving these guys on the edge. Uh, what's the noise pollution coming out of the tram like? Yeah, okay, so we can maybe save this for a little bit of parky park designs, perhaps a all park in here centralizes in the middle. Then that'll be okay. And 
continue with our zoning. So we'll have a little discussion about perhaps some kind of centralized behind house park designs here, okay? Bring down some regular vanilla path. We'll squeeze a spot through here as well. And down onto this road too. And then forestry fence works really nicely uh, for some kind of behind house action if we wanted to get involved with that. That bringing long stretches of it down. Uh, just on our angle tool though. So we've got a whole bunch of commercial demand at the minute. And I think we're going to start playing with the possibility of introducing some unique buildings into the area. Let's go ahead and redesign this little little spot right here. It would be nice to bring some of the trams into this, but there's stops right here, so it's not particularly needed. Hello, residential zoning. <laughs> that I haven't cleared up. Yeah, okay, so let's have a little look how we can possibly play with this idea right here. So that's the road guideline as well. So I didn't really use a lot of the uniques in Fremwood. There's a lot of them still left open here. Uh, but I think we'll dive into the European content creator pack and maybe grab the shopping center. I think this is going to be a nice asset to sit up alongside the metro line here as well. All right. Don't hate it. All right, I think. <laughs> it's on its way, as always. I want to throw this back onto the next road. It's not centralized, but we will centralize it all. And how about a little bit of plaza spice outside of this as well? Can we line up a couple of these maybe with the asset? How about that? Okay, and then probably a park path will be the most sensible choice here within the grid to keep people through. Be nice, and then with this kind of one deep space we've got in the middle, again, like we did and um, with the park paths over at the start of the town, we can just come through and fill it out with a, a slightly different texture. It's very much aesthetic as opposed to functional. But either way, it's going to help uh, bring a few folks into the town. And there's also great opportunities here for, for perhaps some elevated pedestrian bridge. Come out here and maybe ascend up by three. Couple of links in. People walking around. I see the trams active around the a little school part we've got going on here as well. That's well, kind of a general base structure of our, our suburb. Of course, we've got more room to expand here. Uh, bring in some walkable keys too, get some more zoning in. Uh, but we've got a bunch of industrial demand at the minute, uh, so this here feels like a nice point to come ahead and uh, start introducing uh, some office park stuff. There's traffic lights here again. We'll get rid of these, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at a possible office park design. Okay, so let's trim up this little tram road here and throw on uh, a little more roundabout maybe, just to help keep our traffic flowing. And we'll bring this into regular arterial road, and then we will crack open our tram lines here. So let's continue tram to flow through the district. I think we'll grab maybe a fancier road while we're coming into an office park district. And then we'll run this parallel line. Make a tiny little roundabout as an introduction into the area. Go ahead and bring up our tram line as well just so we've got something to snap into with the roads. This one out as well. Again, lots of opportunity for some nice offices to look out over the highway here too. Just kind of bring out some basic holding frame roads as we begin to kind of expand here. I think that's what we'll do is maybe upgrade this into arterial. But it's not quite as gross because <laughs> it looks a little weird when it's just the single roads. But that's fine, we can live with it. Uh, so let's start to just zone up a nice corner commercial here. I was thinking I want some plazas, maybe some introductory paradox plazas. Elevated footpath action to keep people walking back and to from the suburb here as well. So I think we'll run with this. Cross into the middle. And we can bring this up and then kind of come down either side. Make a nice little T bridge. 
measurements are 122. Then we can kind of repeat this design either side one as well, just so we're going to get that symmetry as it crosses the highway. Different texture as well. We may change this out for something a little more healing. I do like the American pedestrian bridge though. I'm not kind of I'm not like denouncing it in any way. Kind of weird how the, the pillar shifts its orientation when you do the little T junction like this. Should get a few people walking on different layers here as well, which is lots of nice elevated pedestrian spice. I think it's something we can all appreciate, isn't it? Okay, so these aren't quite what I'm after for the roads. So let's come back and have a little play with these. Of course, we're going to want a little green cities district as well. Go ahead and grab that one right there. Get the classic organic and local produce. We'll fill out with some basic squares. Will give us something that looks eventually like this, which is wonderful. Okay, possibly keep it going here as well, but we'll probably just save this for some nice green belt stuff. Maybe let's switch up. I'll we'll probably stick with part path to be fair. Actually, there's a nice way here we can maybe introduce different path palettes and change it up with park fence here and there. We'll repeat the same design here as well, just so we have that symmetry either side of the tram line. We'll keep this flowing and keep everyone walking. Lots of nice trees around here too. A little bit of part detail every now and again. I think just because it's kind of a gated office park, we will run through with a little bit of a park fence just to kind of box it all off. But the general concept is here, right? This is kind of the vibe that we want for our office park. So we've still got a bunch of industrial demand and we did have a regular uh, industry area here, which was just mass zoned, um, tons, <laughs> absolutely tons of uh, just regular industry that was awful, awful to look at. And um, so there's no natural resources here, I don't think anyway. Uh, there's a little bit of ore over here. Uh, we built up an entire suburb uh, over an ore pocket on this map. But um, I think what we'll do here is maybe implement a little bit of forestry uh, just to help kind of break up the relentless roads and kind of concrete vibes. Let's go ahead and start working with some forestry action. Let's bring out a road. We're going to throw on forestry main building, I think. Go ahead and paint out this industrial area to the size it needs to be. Don't want it too huge. We'll just kind of fill out an area, all right? It's massive. We'll have that here. I think I'm fairly happy with the approach here, okay? These opportunities in the roundabout as well. And let's bring out some dirt roads kind of up and behind at the main building here. And we can start to formulate some plantations of trees. That's a much healthier drive by right than what it was before. I think so anyway. I hope so. Um, let's flip this one on its different orientation too, just so we're kind of uh, keeping parallel here. And we'll just trim a little bit of this back and then straight behind it. Okay, so we'll keep our kind of production assets over here. I think I'm okay with that. Have a look at what other forestry assets we've got to play with. Um, there is the forestry maintenance building, um, which is a really big industrial looking asset. Again, kind of thinking about our orientation from the highway. You can get on board with it from that. There's going to be a nice little drive by on this ramp here as well, which is interchanges. Horrific. <laughs> it's a... Uh... Yeah, awful. I think the interchanges that are built in Parliament are slight, slight better than that one. I'm happy with this asset. Go ahead and make that on historical as well. And I don't really want laundry here. More after kind of fast food shops and stuff for the office workers. Okay, let's have a look at some of the uh, larger forestry assets like the port mill and stuff. That bringing some of these onto their own road. And we do have a road connection down here. Cool. So we can hook that into the rest of the city. Of course, not working on this area. There is a, actually 
Oh, look at this. It's <laughs> just random industrial zoning next to a cargo train station. Horrific. Absolutely horrific. Okay, uh, let's have a look at some... Well, pork bowls are certainly a favourite spice. Let's maybe run with a little bit of back-to-back -back pork mill action. Right, let's take this road away. Again, keeping it very kind of tightly knit around the back of the asset. We can see the distance here is 270. Let's repeat that distance again. We can almost like expand the pork mill with two pork mills, make it look like one complete asset. I get the idea right. Some classic sword of storage here as well. Let's see if we can maybe squeeze at one of these in here. How deep is it? I think we should be okay. Let's uh, maybe bring our dirt road down here as well. So there's wood chip storage too, which is a little bigger than we fit in, which is fine. Let's just go for some regular sword of storage then. We'll also use some regular zoned forestry in our little industrial area here as well. Let's go ahead and create a district first of all. Over here will be fine. Forestry specialization. Okay. Let's place in one of the plain timber plants, I think. All right. I'm fairly happy with that. How do maybe grab a little dirt road just to box this in? Kind of a similar palette to what the floor of the asset is, so it's going to work nicely. And maybe just the occasional four lines forestry zone in here. Okay, so in regards to this area, um, there was, I think there was some garbage processing over here. Um, so let's have a little discussion. So since this city's kind of been and gone, uh, we've had Sunset Harbour drop. So we've now got a lot of the Sunset Harbour stuff to deal with. So we can maybe have a look at a waste processing complex as well. Uh, which we'll definitely use a one-way system for. Um, also here as well. Bring this down and then we'll switch the directions here. They can come out. That'd be good. I think what we'll do for this one is, whilst it's kind of a very heavy industrial area, let's introduce a toll booth as some kind of security gate. So again, kind of asset orientation is really important, really key. And if we squeeze this in alongside the uh, toll booth, it certainly helps it settle in a little more, doesn't it? Kind of gives it more of that security gate vibe. We pin a few assets around the, the, the toll booth. I think I can get on board with that. Let's go ahead and make this um, two-way just until we decide exactly how we're going to merge the other assets around. Uh, all right, although we are a little bit stuck here. We could connect here, but this junction is kind of dangerous. <laughs> we don't really want this. I guess it's only garbage trucks, right? There's not going to be vast amounts of traffic flowing through here. So I think we can live with it. And then we can maybe try... Again, kind of similar to what we did with the port mills, all right? Uh, backing these assets onto each other, and you can do it side to side or kind of front to front with the road in between, but just just helps flesh out that chunkier industrial vibe, okay? And I think I actually do want um, some landfill sites here as well, just because of the aesthetic that they provide, like that, that garbage actually filling up. So let's have a little talk about that. I'm guessing a lot of this industrial traffic that's coming through here. There is the ore mine here, isn't there? Yeah, okay. So this wasn't great planning. <laughs> this was really poor. Um, kind of since this series, I've always championed uh, giving your industrial areas almost immediate highway access. Forcing them back through a suburb like this is such a bad design. Really poor. <laughs> you don't want large ore mining trucks driving down a high street like this. Not appropriate. <laughs> Not even in the slightest. But that's fine. The rest of Fremwood might damage our little rebuild here, but we live and learn, right? We do live and learn. Very dense and industrial look. We'll also repeat it here as well. Of course, using the actual landfill sites themselves isn't the best idea because you have to keep emptying them. You can use the collapse option, of course, but you know, for actually making a landfill area, they're kind of the best asset because you actually see the landfill and kind of spread over a distance like this. It really contributes to an industrial vibe. This will service the city for a long time. <laughs> it's uh, not need any garbage processing for a little bit. What's the thing like? Yeah, way, way above. 
way above. But I think there's it's kind of a similar concept to this over here. Um, where is it? Yeah. So this was kind of pre-Sunset Harbour. Got the incinerator plants here as well. Terrible highway exit. <laughs> really bad. Oh, look at this campus as well. No. No, right, let's not get too distracted. <laughs> We're not here to, uh, not here to tour Fremwood. I think just a smaller bit of industrial zoning helps contribute to that larger uh, refuse processing facility. It's definitely the chimney stacks that help these. Definitely is. However, there is still a fair bit of dead space for us to come and fill in. Uh, there's a ton of detail that he's doing here. Let's have a little look over. We want to detail our highway as well. I try and bring uh, some kind of fencing in between and repeated tree designs. A lot we've done in Palaban many times. And then detail out our little office park here as well with uh, some trees and bushes along the paths and I'll decorate our tram lines as well. Which, uh, I get a little bit of use now, people coming back and to from here. Some stuff we have to do over here, bring some kind of fencing in to stop people sliding down this hill. Some more repeated tree designs here. Lots of green belt to fill in. And yeah, could just carry on expanding the suburb as well. But I think we should detail up and then see what a kind of a properly constructed uh, Fremwood would look like. So we'll be right back. Thank you. 
Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, a like below is always appreciated. Equal so much. If you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. A huge thank you once again for hitting 30,000 subscribers on the channel. It is a huge milestone and one I never expected to hit. And I'm glad that you guys uh, enjoy all my content and it helps you through various struggles in life. I've read all your messages and talked to you all in the Discord. I am really humbled about how much the community and the channel means to you all and I would like to reiterate that statement and just say that you guys are my bread and butter I don't know what I'll do without you and I love you all insanely dearly in other news very happy with the redesign of Fremwood and I hope you are as well I hope the kind of the point of thinking more modular with your builds rather than just zoning industry to satisfy that demand come up with a forestry design or an office park and likewise with your residentials as well just kind of thinking a little more designed i guess is the key but uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed the, the special anyway uh, hang around for the rest of the outro tag we will include some before and after cinematics which should be nice but otherwise i will shut up and i will leave it there i want to thank you all so much for watching and as always enjoy the rest of your day